let's take a look at volume and surface area word problems. So most important part of this is going to be able to just be able to identify, am I solving for the volume or the surface area? So number one, how much water is needed to fill this water bottle? So we're talking about filling up a space that is talking about volume. We have a rectangular prism here. So our volume is just going to be multiplying our three measures together, 18 times five times seven. I'm gonna plug that into my calculator, 18 times five times seven, and I get 1,008. Our units are centimeters cubed. All right, number two. A gemstone is a square pyramid that has a base width of 3.4 inches. The slant height of the pyramid is 3.8 inches. Find the surface area. Well, it specifically says find the surface area, so we know this is a surface area problem. So we're talking about a pyramid, a square pyramid with side lengths 3.4, that is congruent. And then it has a slant height of 3.8 inches. So for my triangles, I'm doing my base of 3.4 times my height of 3.8 divided by two, but there's four of them, so I'm multiplying it by four which gives me 3.4 times 3.8 divided by two multiplied by four gives me 25.84. And then my base is just a square base, so 3.4 times 3.4 equals 11.56 I'm adding these two together to get my total surface area, and I get 37.4 inches squared. All right, next one, number three. Marley bakes a rectangular cake that is nine inches wide, 13 inches long, and two inches high. She removes the cake from the pan to frost it. How many square inches of frosting does she need? So here's what is important to think about. When you are baking a cake, do you frost the bottom? No, you are just frosting the sides and the top. So I'm gonna just draw kind of a fake shape here. So we can think about these measures. We know it's two inches high. It is nine, 13 inches long and nine inches wide. So we have to keep that in mind when we are calculating. We know there's three different um, dimensions here. So we've got our 13 by nine is the top and the bottom. We only need it once. We're not multiplying it by two because we are not frosting the bottom. So that's 117. Then we have this side here, which is nine by two but there's two of them, so multiply that by two, which gives us 36. And then we have this side right here, which is 13 by two, but there's two of them, so we multiply that by two, which gives us 52. So our total surface area of frosting that we need is 52 plus 36 plus 117 is 205 square inches of frosting. And we forgot to put here, this was a surface area problem. All right, number four. How much glass is needed to build the following aquarium? So glass isn't filling up the whole thing, it's just the surface around it. So we're talking about a surface area problem. What is important to note is that no glass is needed on the top, but we do need the rest. So 
though we don't need glass on the top, we do need it on the bottom. So that dimension is 24 by 12. We're only doing it once though, because we don't want the top filled with glass. So 288. Then this side here is 12 by 14. But there's two of those. So we multiply by two, which is 336. And then the other side, this front here, we have 14 by 24. We have that in the back as well. So there's two of them, 14 by 24. We need to double that, which is 672. So we're going to add 672 plus 336 plus 288 equals 1,296 inches squared. All right, Marty is mailing his aunt the package shown. How much cardboard is used to create the shipping container? So the shipping containers are hollow. We're just talking about the surface. So this is a surface area problem. We are looking at a triangular prism. So when I'm doing a triangular prism, I find the three measures of the sides of the triangle. So our three side measures are 3.6 for this side. This side is also 3.6 and this bottom is four. We multiply each of those by that height or depth of the prism. So times 14 for all of those. So 3.6 times 14 is 50.4, and 4 times 14 is 56. And then the last part is we need our bases. So we have our triangle bases. Our right angle is connecting 4 and 3. So we're doing 4 times 3 divided by 2, but there's two of those bases. So that's going to equal 12. And we add these all together. So 56 plus 12 plus 50.4 plus 50.4. And I get 168.8 inches squared. Number six, Anwar needs to cover his science book with paper to protect it. How many square inches of paper will Anwar need if the book is 11 inches long, 8 inches wide, and 1 inch high? So this one's a little bit tricky when we're thinking about this one. So we've got a book. Okay. What we have to think about is we want this top covered, we want the bottom covered, and we want this side covered. But the rest of it, that's where the book is open. We don't need that covered. So when we're looking at our dimensions, we have 11 inches long, 8 inches wide, and one inch high. So the top and the bottom are the same. They are eight by 11. So we're doing eight by 11 and we're doubling it, which is 176. Sorry, this is a surface area problem. And then we just want this back side, which is 11 by one. And then we are adding those two together. We get 187 inches squared. A 
a toy company makes rectangular sand boxes that measure six feet by five feet by 1.2 feet. A customer buys a sandbox and 40 cubic feet of sand. Did the customer buy too much or too little sand? So we're talking about sand that's taking up the whole entire space, so we're looking at volume. And specifically a rectangular sandbox. So I'm just multiplying six times five times 1.2. And that gives me 36 feet squared. The customer bought 40 cubic feet of sand, so too much. But really, in reality, better to have too much than too little. And then last one. How many boxes can fit inside the delivery truck? So these are taking up space. We're filling up the entire space. This is a volume problem. So first, I'm just going to figure out the boxes volume. It's kind of hard to see. We've got 2.5 times 2.5 times 2.5, which is 15.625. Then I need to find the truck's volume, which is, again, kind of hard to see, 7.5 times 15 times 7.5 which is 843.75. And then we wanna know how many of these boxes fit. So it's a division problem. We're gonna do 843.75 divided by 15.625 and see how many fit. And when I divide, I get 54 boxes would fit.